how overflows each moment is holy there is no holy day or unholy day each moment is holy it depends upon you with which moment you are in harmony in performance of a particular role once you understand this you will stop asking all sort of questions do not think that any particular day is needed for you to be happy you can be happy this very moment the moment you choose it is your choice certainly only a particular mind is needed to be happy a particular kind of a approach attitude it has nothing to do with time that this time is holy that time is not this time is auspicious that time is not instead everything depends on the attitude how you look at life there are people for whom even a sunday is not a sunday there is no light no sun rising even on sunday they are clouded in their own darkness and shrouded in their own misery and ignorance they carry their hell around with them wherever they go even if they happen to be in heaven they will carry their hell i have heard about a sufi mystic who was always happy always and always without any reason nobody had ever seen him unhappy it was as if he did not know that language as if the only way he knew how to be was happy and then he became very old and one day a man asked him will you please tell me your secret how you remain so happy and so undisturbed how each moment you can be so blissful it is impossible and unbelievable what is your secret the old man laughed and said long before i found one simple thing that each morning when i open my eyes there are two alternatives to choose for that day either to be happy or unhappy and i always choose to be happy simple is my secret each day gives me only two alternatives not the third one to be happy or not to be happy and i always choose to be happy that is all there is nothing more and extraordinary to it but you will not believe in this you will say this old man is deceiving he must have some other secret but i also tell you this is the only secret all great truths are simple truths very simple but the human mind has made them complicated try tomorrow morning before you open your eyes have a clear cut vision of two alternatives this was the sutra that nakshbandi sheik sufi shakuntala devi gave to his disciples whenever anybody will bow to her she will say be always happy happiness is a choice before you open your eyes have a clear cut vision of two alternatives being in hell or in heaven 
visualize misery on one hand and blissfulness on the other hand. See deeply into both. There is no need to be in a hurry. Look into both alternatives as deeply as possible and wait. Then decide. Let it be your decision and then be truly unhappy for the whole day. Be committed to your decision and do not try to escape from this. Whatsoever happens, you remain miserable. And if you decide to be happy, then stick to it. And soon you will realize that your life is nothing but your own decision. Life revolves around your own choice that you create. You are suffering because you go on deciding in that way. You are suffering because you go on clinging to your sufferings. You have made a habit out of it. It is just mechanical. Holidays are disappearing from the world. In the legal sense, people have more holidays. Work days are being reduced all over the world from 6 to 5 and 5 to 4. And soon even that will not be so. In the very highly developed technological societies, one day of the week will do for six days. People can have holidays. But holiday is disappearing. And with it, the quality of sacredness and holiness is also disappearing. That consciousness is disappearing from the world. People have more leisure. That is another thing. But what do they do with their leisure? They create more misery for themselves and others around. Finding nothing to do, they do harm to themselves and to others. Introspect and look around. More incidents happen on the holidays, more car accidents, more murders, more suicides. And after the holiday, people are so tired that they need whole week's rest to recuperate. So people go for holidays and when they come back, they need more time to rest before they can start back the work. They do a thousand and one things on holidays just to keep themselves busy. Because not to be busy is to be with oneself and that has become almost impossible for everyone. To be with oneself means to be happy with oneself. That dimension has completely been lost. That is what a holiday is or should be. One is full of God, godliness, so full of being that there is no need to do anything or to be occupied. Occupation is just an escape. It is a good way to avoid encountering yourself and life. Holidays are disappearing. It is good that every day a feeling arises in you that this is a holiday. It is. If it was not so before, then you were missing something. Now it has started happening. So do not make it a question. I have heard once Mullah Nasruddin was an atheist. And then I heard that Mullah became a theist. I could not believe it. So when I came across him, I asked, how come you decided to become a theist? Well, 
said Mulla. I used to be an atheist, but I gave it up. Why? I inquired. Mulla replied, checking. No holidays. No holidays. If you are atheist, then there are no holidays. Then there is no God. Then there are no Sundays. The Christian parable says that God created the world in six days and on the seventh day, Sunday, he rested. The rest was very beautiful. It was full of great creation. He was feeling fulfilled. He has created the whole world. And on the sixth day, he looked and he said, good, very good. And he rested. He was happy like a small child who has made something and looks very, looks from every side and says, good, I have done it. He rested on the seventh day. The rest, that rest day was really a fulfillment day. The parable has much significance. It says that you have a rest day only after creation. If you do not create anything, your life will be restless. You will not be able to have a holiday. Create something, maybe very small. Only then you can rest. Rest is byproduct. You cannot directly rest. First, you have to be so creative. You have to feel so good about yourself, so happy with yourself, so worthy that you can allow rest for yourself and that you can and that you can allow a day just for fun. Ordinarily people cannot allow a day of rest for themselves because they feel so condemnatory about themselves, they feel so unworthy because they have not done anything worthwhile or creative. They have not experienced any fulfillment. Nothing has happened and they have not blossomed. Hence, continuous occupation, continuous activity is needed. Many people go on working and working and working and one day they die because their work is not creative. When the work is creative, the work is creative when you love it. Your work will be creative if you love it. The work is creative when you are in tune with it. The work is creative when you enjoy every bit of it. The work is creative when you choose it out of your own free will and it fits with your being and great harmony arises between you and the work. Once that happens, whatsoever you do is creative and when after each creative moment you can relax that relaxation you have earned. Yes, God earned relaxation for the seventh day. For six days he worked hard. He created the whole world. On the seventh day he earned relaxation for himself. He is worthy of it. That is the meaning of the parable. Enough for now. Thank you.